Welcome back to the Doomsday Show. If you are here watching this, that means we were destroyed yesterday by that asteroid I was telling you about. It happens all the time. Tomorrow's show, I'll discuss a little bit about more asteroids. But this is a very special time of the year, especially in the Northern Hemisphere. It's the cold and flu season. Now I know what you're thinking. Yeah, we get it every year. And oh yeah, we have a few viruses. But do you know how dangerous they are? Viruses are taking us out on a constant basis. Did you know over 12,000 people a year died of the common flu, influenza? So don't think it's just a little simple viruses because the viruses have been here since the beginning of creation. God built them as a special timing mechanism to carry out his judgment. As you can tell, you know, ever since the time clock started rolling, viruses have been here breeding changing, finding ways to invade the body through the nose, through the mouth, through the eyes, through the ears, through what we eat. And it spreads through what we take out to the bathroom. Sorry, ladies, for having to be so graphic. But what you take to the toilet can be filled with viruses. In fact, you can get viruses from the toilet. Viruses can get on your skin. They can get everywhere. I mean, the common cold, which is like the foot soldier, you know, like the cat, can fodder of the whole episode called a rhinovirus, yeah? Yeah, I know, it's a kind of a strange name. I don't understand scientific names, but I don't know the effects of the creations of God. They invade you. There's over 100 different types of them. And they invade your nose, fill your nose full of mucus and chest, and it just makes you hurt. And it just reminds you how close to death you really are sometimes. And you give great glory when you're, finally your cold goes away. I love some of Mother Earth's remedies, you know, chicken soup, you know, tea, good teas, toast, especially white toast, a little bit of jelly. It really helps out. But you know, even better yet than a little white toast with that honey made from, oh, sweet bees, who will also be gone when Doomsday arrives. But that's a whole other story when we talk about the fall, failure of insects, because that's environmental destruction. We're not talking about the day. No, we're talking about the rhinovirus that invades. So you get cold and weeping. You spend large amounts of medicine, medicine. You feel better. You can take some days off from work. And you might get a flu where you're going to, excuse me, ladies, again, but have to retreat to the bathroom to release your guts upon the earth. That, and that, too, could spread more viruses. But those aren't the most dangerous viruses. And pneumonia is dangerous. It took out 20 million of us in 1918. It was a pandemic, they called it. Oh, no, and just don't think it's everywhere. You know, rats once carried diseases. Well, they still carry diseases, but we've got it handled. Called the bubonic plague. And it wiped out one-third of Europe. Now, Europe was a lot smaller then. and had a lot more heathens in there. That's why one of the big things you have to understand why God's pretty upset. They were in the middle of something called the Dark Ages. You know, it was very confusing times. But they had this disease. And it grew big blisters, black blisters, and choked you. And it nearly killed one-third of all humanity in Europe. It's true. It did. Look it up in history books. Don't need to. I know the time is a little off in history books, but you know, no one takes the, the prophet usher's word for the timing of the creation. There's so many people who want, who want it a much longer time because they know that doomsday is coming so swiftly. So you got that. But in Africa, we're starting to really tear up the countryside. And you know, they have something called Ebola. Now, Ebola is a very special type of virus that gets in through your mouth and through nose. And what it does, you don't want to know. Well, just say it takes your insides, turns you into a, like a liquid milkshake for this virus. They sup up as much as they want. And, excuse my language, it's again, it takes you to the toilet where it shats your internal organs into the toilet bowl. That's e Ebola. And with a little bit, and there's, you know, and there's scientists out there working on tinkering this thing. Just in case they need to fight a war, say, with China, Taiwan, or the suburb of Burbank. Who knows? They got the disease for it. But that isn't worse. We got this HIV virus, which, of course, was God's judgment on promiscuous sex. All that great promiscuous sex. Because we didn't take our definition from syphilis or gonorrhea. But let me tell you one last thing about viruses that you have to realize. They do something that is forbidden. The satanic art of evolution. God created the earth, and ever since then, Satan's been trying to tell us we all evolve. Okay, things may evolve. I'll grant you that. And viruses definitely practice this forbidden art. 
you'd think they don't have any brains, but cumulatively they outnumber us millions and millions to one. But we've got big brains that God gave us and our spirit's strong. So what we do, we do. We give ourselves antibiotics. What do the viruses do? Become super diseases. You know, staph infection in the hospitals? <laughs> Little penicillin? No, you need things that are stronger. And how do we keep those viruses in our house? Well, what we do is we spray the counter with something called antibacterial soaps. And that kills 99.999% of the viruses. That means one in 10,000, maybe one in 100,000 viruses are going to survive. Because you gotta understand there's millions of these things existing on your counter. And when that one survives, it's going to breed. And it spreads all over your counter again. And what do you do? You take your nice antibacterial soap, spray it again, and bless it, you keep, it, keep those viruses off you because you've got to keep them off you. And all of a sudden, they all but a few die, and they spread out. And one day you discover when you're starting to have a, a you know, flesh-eating disease or maybe E. coli building up in your lower intestines or any number of these horrific diseases that I could talk about, you know, ones that make your eyes bulge and bleed, the ones that make your tongue get fat. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of them. Ones that just take your fingernails. There's even a germ that gets underneath your toenail, which you can get medicine for to these days, that makes your toenails turn yellow and fungusy. Oh, yeah, they're all out there because you've made it with your bacterial soap. You're adding to doomsday. You're creating that virus that could possibly take you and everyone out. And, of course, we can't leave without the bird flu. Understand the bird flu is a very sacred that because Jesus, the dove came down as God's messenger and told us how great Jesus was. Birds have been used as messengers of carry of heaven's message. And it's just one of those little warnings about the end of the world. Because if birds can get anywhere, and where can't birds go? They fly! We might be in a little trouble. And of course, we're still not talking about anything that's in those black laboratories of the UN who might just take us out just for the fun of it. 98% of us are vulnerable to some sort of disease. So that is your message for Doomsday today. Don't worry, the viruses are out to get you, and there's not much you can do about it. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. If not, that was the end of the world. This is the Right Richard Reverend Riser, signing out.